M40. Look for it. Where is it? You won't find it. It's not there. So Messier must have made a mistake. There is actually something there, and I think what Sir Patrick meant when he said that there's nothing there to see is that there isn't what you call a Messier object in the traditional sense of the word. There's just a pair of stars. So it's probably the least inspiring thing in the entire Messier catalogue. You know, even the ones that aren't real objects, that are just sort of gaps between dark clouds and those kinds of things, at least they're quite interesting to look at. This one's not even very interesting to look at. The actual object which was supposed to be there was erroneously reported by Johannes Hevelius. He actually said that there was a nebulous object in that region. And that's why it ended up in Messier's catalogue. He'd actually added it to the catalogue before there was any confirmation with it. So in this way, the object managed to work its way in to the catalogue when it shouldn't have done. Now when you look for Messier 40, all you'll find there is a pair of stars. It's actually a double star called Winnec 4. There are similar apparent magnitudes, they have similar kind of brightnesses. Uh, one's a little brighter than the other, but it could be that they're actually quite a long way apart and one's actually intrinsically quite a lot brighter than the other. There's no way of telling unless you really study these pair of stars in great detail to really understand their properties. Optical double stars are chance alignments of two stars in the night skies. They look like they're close together, but they're not actually close together in reality. Research in 2002 confirmed that the proper motion, that's the direction of motion and speed of each star, doesn't align, so they aren't connected to each other at all. It sounds like you're going to refuse to tell me anything exciting about these stars. What does it take for two stars to get an astronomer's juices flowing? Oh, there's lots of things. Pairs, I mean, binary stars can do lots of exciting things. When there are actually, so if it's a binary star, in other words, if they're actually physically associated with one another, then exciting things can start happening, because when you get them close enough together, they can start interacting with one another. You can have mass transferring from one to the other. All sorts of dramatic things can happen, but just a pair of stars along the line of sight, not so exciting. That's unacceptable. <laughs> 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 Give us something. I don't know why the object has remained in there for as long as it has. Well, obviously it can't be taken out now because it's part of the original sequence. Could you describe Messier as being a bit trigger happy? Um, possibly. Perhaps he was keen to get the catalogue going. But remember that he was actually a comet hunter. Um, that was his, his real raison d'etre. So that's what he was probably doing rather than actually uh, paying attention to mark these off properly. I don't think anyone's ever dared to delete any of the objects that Messier put in there himself. And this is one he put in there himself, and he wasn't fooled, right? He didn't say this is an exciting object. He said, I looked here because I was told to look here and there was something interesting, and all I could find was this pair of stars. And then he put it in the catalogue because he was a thorough scientist who, having recorded something, put it down in his catalogue. Um, so I, I think it would be a fairly uh, presumptuous thing to start deleting these things from Messier's original catalogue. Messier used a small telescope, and on the whole, he was very accurate. When we compare the positions of the objects he gave to those measures today, they are really not very far out, and his descriptions are not bad either. But there are one or two strange omissions. Radio observations show a huge ring of gas and rotating around. Red wavelengths. We've also got another one in the visible, which I can show you.